Good evening, Internet. Welcome back to the Warriors. Today we're going to be gearing up for a little bit of payback against those toys, the Destroyers. You ready for this, man? You ready to snuff out every destroyer piece we find? It's payback time, Rembrandt. They bomb our turf? We're gonna bomb yeah, theirs. Yeah, Fox told Cleon they were out partying tonight, getting real wasted, so there won't be too many destroyer patrols out. Fuck them. Listen, you just worry about the paint, Rembrandt. I'll keep those fucks off your back. So you ready or what? Yeah. Yeah, I'm ready. Okay. Here we go. We're introduced here to our second to last minigame, Tagging. Tagging is a very prevalent minigame throughout the game. All you do is trace the W on screen with your left analog stick and you'll cover whatever spray paints up on the wall with a big red W for the Warriors. No problem. Fox told me where I could find a whole bunch of their burners. Oh, great. Destroyers. Oh, fucking wasted. Let's go beat the field. Suck it On your feet. Looking good. Now, in order to tag, we actually need more cans of spray paint, which introduces us to our next kind of dealer, the spray paint dealer. Spray paint can be bought for $5 a can. You may notice there's a little spray paint icon next to the W. That's how much time you have left to trace the outline of W. If it runs out, then you're going to need to use another, another can of spray paint. In this case, our mission objective is actually to snuff out these burners. We only need to snuff out two of them, but there are actually three in this particular area, which introduces us to bonus objectives. Pretty much one of the bonus objectives in almost every single level of the Warriors is going to be snuff out all of the opposing gang tags. In this case, our bonus objective is to cross out the last tag on the street, which is right in front of us. You may notice that whenever I'm finishing these tags, I'm getting a style bonus to my points in the upper left. That's for getting it right on the first try. There's actually a style bonus for the same thing on lockpicking, but since lockpicking is so much of a crapshoot, well, fuck it. I may as well talk about the different kind of stores you can break into. Pharmacies, like this one, are actually a pretty good source of flash, and you don't have to pay 20 bucks for each one. They also usually have one or two crutches inside that you can use for weapons. And of course, with the alarm, we have cops. Take them out. I've been waiting. Here we have a cop who started to try to arrest Vermin, but uh, we decided to break into that habit. You're getting a free ticket to the mercy seat. Fucking right. That was a bad angle of a counterattack, but we'll get a better one later. If somebody is trying to grab you and you press the attack button on, as they're attacking you, then you actually reach out and just punch them in the face, and the ah, grapple is canceled. They get a little demo get a little bit of damage out of it. Destroyers. They never learn. Check this out, buddy! Come on, Wimp! Let's go! Come on, Hotshot! Whenever I'm reaching around behind them, I'm actually trying to get one of the other warriors to help me do a team-up attack. I believe we'll see at least one example of that later, but team-up attacks are very... very damaging. They can usually take somebody out and at least half of their health in one attack. I hope to show off a lot more of those as time goes on, but we'll see.
Looks good, man. Nice one. In this particular area, there are five burners that we need to snuff out. The objective only covers three of them, but there are two more that count as another bonus objective for this particular level. Everyone's gonna know we was here. Chill, chill, chill. Hey dudes, I need some stuff. Part of the way of extending the gameplay in a lot of these levels is putting all these burners out here to be snuffed out for bonus objectives. Some of them can be very difficult to find and unlike in this level, you're not going to have objectives on the map telling you where they are. For instance now, when it says new bonus objective, they've disappeared off the map, so we either have to remember where they are or find them for ourselves. Stay down, boy. Another particular move that can be done is instead of throwing somebody, if you're next to a wall and you hold the control stick in their direction, you'll actually shove them up against the wall in some brutal fashion. We'll get a better angle on that later as well. This particular burner took me forever to find when I was first playing this game. Some of the burners really are in very obscure areas that no one would ever look in. And generally speaking, there are anywhere from... I believe the shortest is three or four. And I believe the most burners you'll find in one map are eleven. So, it can be quite a search to find all of them. You fellas looking to score? Huh. Bum fights. No, oh, Rockstar. I'm gonna fill you full of holes. You are gonna, pal. What's going on? Oh, I think I'm gonna puke. Come on. There's still a few more Fox told me about back here. This is another type of store we can break into, a liquor store. Liquor stores have a few items you can steal, along with Molotov cocktails, which can be pretty damaging. They'll usually destroy cars instantly, but then you can also use them a bit on... Uh, it's fairly effective against people as well. For instance, uh, hey look, Human Torch. It's not extremely damaging, but it's damaging enough. There we have an example of a better angle on that counterattack. Generally speaking, cops will try to tackle you and then try to arrest you. If they arrest you, it's a minigame similar to the mugging minigame, only instead of trying to find the vibration, you're trying to avoid it. Ideally, I will never have to deal with that. But it's bound to happen sooner or later. Let me show you how the warriors buck! Let's move. As you can see on the radar, there are six burners to snuff out in this area of town. Three of them are covered for the objective, and three go into the bonus objective. The destroyers are pretty drunk, and they're having quite a party, so... This is as good a time as any to knock them all out, I'd say. What? Deuce, deuce and a half? Guys, guys, do it! Take them out! Once in a while, the cops will watch the gang violence and do nothing. 
Maybe we should make some kind of commentary on it. If cops see you making a tag, they actually will come after you, so generally a pretty good idea to try and lay low. Same thing goes for if an enemy gang sees you, they will also try to stop you. Cops appear as the blue dots on the mini-map. Enemy, enemy, any enemy gang members will appear as orange dots. Take them out! If anyone's out there, guys! Snuffed out enough shit to piss him off. Let's move. Now everyone's gonna know we was here. receive style points for throwing people off of buildings. Style points are a pretty good way to rack up your rage meter to get you psyched up faster so you can do more damage. Throwing people through items, including other people, or throwing them off of buildings is a pretty good way to raise that up pretty quickly. Smashing faces into walls is also a pretty good way to manage that. Speaking of smashing faces into walls. I hope you like pain. Beauty. Yeah. You fucked with the wrong one. And down here on top of the movie theater awning, we have our last tag for the area. Let's move. All right, let's get moving then. Virgil's gonna be so pissed off when he finds out we bombed his whole turf, man. There's a fat piece right on the back wall of their hangout. Do that one. That'll make them shit. Oh, Christ. You want me to snuff a burner right on their hangout? What if they're in there just waiting for us? Ah, oh, fuck. Look, you girls can stand out here all night deciding if you're gonna go a pair of balls. I'm going in there. Come on, Rembrandt. I bet you could tag a whole piece right over that back wall. Yeah. All right. Let's bomb it. Where'd Ajax get to? Don't worry about it. Let's just get at that burner without being seen. Naturally, it wouldn't be finishing up a tutorial level without tutorializing the last piece of major gameplay we're going to get. Stealth zones. You can notice these darker areas are considered hide zones. Enemies cannot see you while you're in them. You can also do stealth attacks when you creep up on somebody from the back and hit the square or X button. Weaker characters like Vermin and Ribmarat just do that little elbow drop and it'll knock people out. Oh, that's beautiful. <laughs> Tell me not to get drunk on patrol! <laughs> I ain't drunk, I'm fucking wasted! <laughs> there ain't a goddamn thing around. I gotta lay off the flash. If somebody's facing us, we can use a distraction. They usually run to whatever the source of the noise is, and after a while they'll wander back to their spot. Well, I don't blame you, cause I would've rocked your ass! Later, you pansies! 
And then when they're safely back in their spot, we can take them out. Gotta deal with that last scout before we bomb Virgil's piece. While you're in these stealth zones, you can usually tell your warriors to either follow you to from stealth zone to stealth zone, or you can tell them to wait in the one you're currently located in. I find it's usually better for your stealth if you tell them to hold up. With the last of the scouts out of the way, we're ready to move on to our last objective for the level. We're going to put a put a, our own burner over this destroyer's burner. Burners are a little bit different, and in fact, this is an excellent time to discuss what happens when you screw up painting. If you stray too far off of the yellow line, then you have to pause to reshake your spray can. You also don't get the style bonus at the end. Of course, it figures I'd screw up on one of the last ones in the level. If you screw up too many times, then you will wind up having to use a whole other spray can. Since your time is still draining the whole time that you are in the screen. <laughs> That'll teach those toys not to bomb warriors, Turf. Okay, all done, guys. That's great, Rembrandt. Really great. Man, they're gonna be so pissed. Okay, can we get out of here now? I don't want to be around when they sober up. Yeah, let's go. Wait, we haven't found Ajax yet. There he is. Hey, where'd you go? What'd you do with my spray? Don't worry about it. What, you think you're the only one around here with artistic talent? Huh, come on, let's get out of here. <sighs> Shit, that was a helpful, good party, man. <laughs> Party, party, party. Yeah, yeah. Oh, fuck, man. Get the fuck up. Hey, what the fuck? Who drank all my shit? <sighs> shit! Let's see what's going on out here. Wait a minute. I've been. The Warriors? The Warriors? I'M GONNA KILL THOSE FUCKING WARRIORS! Tell me, Masai, what do you see before you? I... I see the Van Cortland Rangers' turf. Turf? Turf ain't nothing but where one gang stops dropping their colors and another gang starts. Lines on a map, that's all turf is. You take away those lines. And you'll see. You'll see the possibilities. The profit. The power. That will conclude this episode of The Warriors. Now that we've completed the tutorial levels, we now have access to the Warriors Hangout, from which we can wander around Coney Island and do a couple bonus objectives. It kind of serves as our hub for the next missions as well. Next time on the Warriors, we'll be exploring what happens when you have a blackout in New York City. Until then, stay loose, boppers.